we're going to review the Polar Care Cube by Bragg, one of Bragg's uh, many product offerings in the cold therapy line. So let's talk about uh, cold therapy first and how it works. So every cold therapy unit will have some type of bucket with a hose that's attached to a pad. And these happen to be motorized units. There are some known motorized units out there as well. The idea behind continuous cold therapy is it's going to circulate ice water through the pad for an extended period of time. Most of the time it's three to four hours at a time. And it's different than like a gel pack or an ice pack where those typically last 20 minutes. By allowing the cold to circulate through the pad for an extended period of time, it allows that cold to penetrate deep into the joint space, cooling down that joint space, which reduces inflammation. It also reduces muscle spasms and therefore reducing the pain the patient might be experiencing. In addition, the benefits of that reduction in pain and swelling, patients are able to sleep a little bit better, ambulate better. So anybody who's ever used one of these cold therapy devices or units think that they are absolutely fantastic. And so we want to introduce you the, the, the cube. When you buy the cube, you're going to get the bucket, you're going to get the pad, and there are many different pads for different parts of the body. This happens to be a, a knee pad, and as you can see, demonstrated here how it fits onto the knee. It just wraps around with the ACE bandage that's also provided, and then you will get a battery pack which plugs into the back of the unit right here. So when we're using cold therapy, let's talk about the safety features and then we'll go through how to um, use the device and, and set it up. With any type of cold therapy unit, one of the most important things is safety. And most critical is that this part of the pad, which is where you will experience the cold, does not sit directly on the skin. There has to be some type of barrier, whether it's a, uh, the bandaging that you have from your surgery, a shirt, a sock, whatever it is, it just has to have some type of barrier between this and the skin. That's very, very, very important. We also recommend that you do uh, skin checks every one to two hours. And what you're looking for is um, odd discoloration, blistering of the skin, some of those things. If you, if you experience that, discontinue cold therapy immediately. There are also some risk factors and contraindications um, um, involved in using uh, continuous cold therapy. And Bregg does a good job at, at providing that education to patients. You'll see on the cooler that there are warnings and indications here. There's a, there, on every unit, we have a packet that also provides warnings, or contraindications, risk factors, but most importantly, consult your physician on how your physician wants you to use this device um, effectively. All right, so we've, we've covered really how cold therapy works and some of the safety um, precautions that patients need to take. Now let's talk about how to actually use the device. So you're gonna take the lid off the cooler first, and as you can see, there's instructions on where to fill the cooler with ice and then water. You're gonna do that first. Keep in mind, the bigger the ice, the longer it's gonna last. The ice in the hospitals tend to be that small shaved crushed ice. It's gonna last uh, less time than the larger cubes at home. And really what you can expect to get out of the, the cooler, and the ice time at home is anywhere from four to six hours depending on how large the ice is. Once you've put the ice and water in, you're going to in, put the lid back on and lock it into place. And then after you've wrapped the, the pad around the extremity or the area of the body where the injury is at, you press the two couplings, two silver couplings here, and pop it into place. And you should hear a click. If you're having a hard time clicking it together, it might be because one of these is not fully depressed. We want to make sure they're both pushed in so that we can get a nice snug fit. Once you've, once you've done that, you take your power supply and it plugs directly into the back of the cooler here. 
There's also other ways for education on the cooler in addition to the instructions. You'll notice on this particular unit we've got a QR code so anybody with a smartphone can scan that. It goes to instructional videos as well. We want to make sure that um, both physicians and, and uh, other healthcare professionals along with patients are educated on how to use the Bragg Cold Therapy line of products. And that concludes the introduction to the Polar Care Cube by Bragg.